Hello everyone. Welcome to Bieber Academy. I'm so super excited to start the content which I planned for this year. As I promised in my update and content video which I posted a couple of days back, every Wednesday you can expect a video on hacking tool. Without delay, let's get into the video. This video is specially made for pen tester, red team and cyber security professional who have less experience or not quite familiar in creating a reverse shell payload with the MSF Venom. This tool will gives a lot of option to create a payload without any hustle and it is very easy. Disclaimer, this video is only for educational purpose I don't encourage illegal hacking and I'm not responsible if you are using the this video content for illegal hacking. Before use this tool, let's try to understand what is reverse shell. A reverse shell, also known as remote shell or connect back shell. The goal is to connect to a remote computer and redirect the input and output connector of the target system shell so that attacker can access it remotely and gain the access of the victim machine. Reverse shell allows attacker to open the port to the target machine, forcing the communication and enabling the complete takeover of the target machine. Therefore, it is a severe security threat. This method is also commonly used in penetration testing, as I said earlier. So even cyber criminals also use this method to penetrate, protect the whole protected host and perform the operating system commands. Reverse shell allow attacker to bypass the network security mechanisms like firewall. So to access this tool, go to website www.reverseshell.com. I'll be giving the link in the description. You don't need to worry. It is just a quite simple to use this tool and it is very handy. All you need to do is give the attacker IP address and port number. In my case, I need to give the Kali IP address. So Kali, my machine IP address is 192.168.1.2. It, it might change for you guys as well. So port number, you can use any port number. In my case, I'm using 1234. Once you done, then you have to select the OS. So there are OS availability, Linux, Windows, and Mac. You can create a, a different platform payload. If you want to create a payload on Linux, yes, you can go and select, choose the flat, whatever you wanted. Windows, Mac, everything you can do it. I'm selecting Windows because the major audience are Windows-based users. So I'm just selecting a Windows. Once you select the windows, you can see there are a lot of payload options. You have plenty of payload options. You can see I can create a, a PowerShell based one or I can create a PHP based. I can create a sheep based or I can even use a Python based Java based as well. So for this demo, I'll be using PowerShell. So let me click this PowerShell. So once you click this PowerShell, you don't need to be having a sound knowledge on a PowerShell script because it's already predefined. Once you give the IP address, it automatically takes everything. So if you are, as I said earlier, if you are a beginner, you doesn't have a knowledge on creating a PowerShell scripts and but you need to test on your penetration testings and part of a red team. It's, this is, tool is very quite easy for you guys to use it on it. So you no need to have a knowledge on a PowerShell. So you can create on it. Even you can create a Java. So even you can create a PHP open kinds of things. So it's it's easy. Uh, so it's quite easy as I said earlier. So you just go and select that one. So the tool is, uh, you can see this script is, means PowerShell script is ready. So now I need to go and select the shell once you are done with the thing. So in my case, I'm just selecting a PowerShell uh, if you are using a Linux or something else, you have to go and select the uh, shell based on that. 
if it is a mac you uh, currently the mac you are using z has h so you have to give it so properly you have to select the shell so in my case i'm just selecting the power shell the one more uh, interesting factor is uh, so you can select the encoding option so even you can encode the url you can double the url encode or even you can use a base 64 see once you select the base 64 it completely encrypting it so using this encoding technique you can bypass the av so this is the one more interesting option is there so this is all the options i have selected now you can take it as a raw file or you can copy to the clipboard and you can execute it uh, so there are options are plenty so the payload is ready now we have to create a listener so listener can be anything for example you can create a net netcat one based on you can do it on it or you can even use a pound cat python if you are using a power python based one you can do it on it or you can use a msf console to uh, do this one so in my case i'm just going with the msf console all i need to do is just copy this command and just go to the terminal uh, since i'm not a root user so just paste it here and enter so that's all so listener will be get ready and all you need to do is just need to copy this and uh, execute in the windows 10 or you just put it in the better some other way you can do it on it so once it is done uh, the payload is now we have successfully the created the payload and once victim executed you will get the reverse shell so once the reverse shell is executed you can play around accordingly uh, so so you can use this tool uh, this is a, something a website based one so you no need to install anything you just come visit this uh, reversal.com and you can play around it uh, it is a quite interesting tool uh, so you can use it on it and moreover if if you are want to use msf venom uh, you can use the msf venom so uh, for example msf venom is a very good uh, one so for example uh, all again you have to again as i said you have to copy this command and you can put it over there so automatically it will create a reverse.exe then you can give it on it or you can even you can create a metapreter session uh, and there are other options you can even create a php reverse php so this option is always helpful when there is a uh, usually if you are a bug bounty programmer or if you are a uh, web application penetration testing you want to test it something uh, uploading suppose uh, in application there are the people will not set a limitation so in case those sees uh, you can upload this shell.php and you can call that function then immediately you will get the web applications will be there so there are plenty of options are there so even you can use the venom of venom them so for example let me copy this one and uh, let me open a terminal and uh, see let me open a new tab and uh, sudo let me paste this clipboard and it prompt for the password so it's easier it's easy on it so usually i'll be typing all this command uh, this is again it's a pretty a useful one so for example let me go to the mac and see if it is msf venoms so again you can see for the Mac related, it's coming, the commands are differing. You can create again. So these fields, so it's a very easy on it. For example, Linux, uh, let me go to the Linux and see if it is what's there. So you can see elf, you can execute this file. So, so easily you can create a payload uh, if it doesn't have a knowledge or if you're a beginner, it doesn't have a knowledge on PowerShells or something else. It's quite easy to play around with this tool. So. Uh, just feel just play around it and uh, i hope uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video if you think a video is useful please consider subscribing the channel and help in the channel growth please follow me on linkedin telegram discord for the updates and support uh, please find the link in the description uh, using the link you can join the telegram discord servers uh, also uh, thank you for watching this video see you soon with another interesting hacking tool video. Until bye, signing off you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.